And um, one of your best friend's daughter wants to come up here and sit with you, guess what? She gets to sit. Right, Eddie Grace? Give an opening statement and we'll open for questions. What a great win um, for our team. It was a grind. I knew it was going to be. Georgia's a uh, – um, Joni does a credible job. They're very physical. They've got a great team. Um, they're the same boat that we're in where you, they have, they've had good days and bad days, and that's where we've been. And, and um, we lost four straight. I didn't care how we won. Um, we just needed a win, and um, we got that. I don't know if this had anything to do with it. Jessica didn't tell anybody this, but I haven't wore this tie since the last time we beat Georgia here. And um, I know Coach Landers has been really good to me, and he's a mentor of mine, and I don't want to upset him. But last night when I had nothing to do at the house and was trying to figure out a way to win, I re went back and rewatched that game. We beat Georgia here two years ago, and I saw I had this tie on, and I had to go dig it up. And um, so uh, maybe I'll wear it again at some point, um, try every game from this point forward. So, um, But I'm um, just real proud of our team. Couldn't be more proud of them. Lissa Austin made the biggest play of the game when she refused to scream, went laid it up, and we didn't have a lot going there. But um, what a great win for us. Um, we needed it badly. Hi. Yeah, third quarter, last time we were in this place, you talked about lack of toughness. Did you yeah. see toughness in that third quarter? They didn't have a lot of choice after halftime. And so we talked a lot about it at halftime, about toughness and getting after it. And I saw our basketball team that we've all seen the majority this year come out in that third quarter and play. And that's the first time I've seen them in about three weeks. And they needed it. They, we needed this win. When you start getting beat, no matter if you're getting beat by a top five team or who it is, you lose your confidence. Our basketball team needed this win, and they got it. And I'm real proud of them. But third quarter, that's a team that we all, we've all watched all year. You know, Gilson came out and basically put the offense in rhythm, despite the, the outside shots not falling. Then Georgia started double teaming her. Then the guards started making shots from the outside. Did, were you going to – You know, I, I think Shelby came out like she's done all year where she's just played extremely hard. And um, Shelby and I had a meeting after um, – before the Kentucky game. I just told her, I said, you got to get back to playing like you were playing before um, all of that and before um, these three or four games stretch. And how can we do that? And she just – you know, she kind of hit a little freshman wall. We talked about that freshman wall. She pushed through it and come out here today. She kept us in the game early. We didn't have anything going. We couldn't make a shot. I think we were one of whatever, one of 14 – one of 16 from the three at the half. And Shelby came in there and just played her butt off. And um, I said this, she's only a freshman. She's going to get better and better and better. Bree Glover today, nine minutes. Um, Tori Lewis uh, played her, has played her butt off all year. And just a freak thing happened to her in practice yesterday on, um, on Friday when she was diving after a loose ball. And um, another player dove after it, and they kind of collided with each other. And it broke a bone in Tori's foot, which puts her out for the rest of the season. And so we need Bree Glover to be good for us. And Bree – um, the le le since Tori went out, has just really stepped up in practice and played well, and I couldn't be more proud of her. All of our freshmen are really good, and I'm real proud of them. Kate Rogers didn't play today, but I was ready to put her in if we needed her. Thoughts on uh, Ingram and Roberts? You know, Georgia kind of their, their only <laughs> two offensive comps they have today. I think Ingram's really good. I um, wish she'd followed her brother's footstep and come play for me. I tried really hard, guys. I had a fan up there say, um, did you try to recruit Ingram? Yeah, yeah, I recruited her really hard. I think she's a great player. Not only is she a great player, she's a great kid. She's a lot like Evan. Um, and, you know, she's just a real um, um, great person. And um, I wanted to coach her really bad. Um, but she went to Georgia, so now i got to play against her. And uh, I think she's really good. And um, what she did today doesn't surprise me. That's the type of player she is. And, you know, that's – and then uh, Pashas Roberts is a senior that wants to wants to keep playing. I mean, she's trying to get her team postseason eligible, whether it be the NIT, NCAA tournament, whatever it is. She's a senior, and she, she's been in that program for a long time. And – um, she understands the history and the, and the, and the patri I mean, the, and the passion for that program that there is in that Georgia program to put that Georgia uniform on, and she understands that. And I told our kids that if you don't think that kid's gonna play hard, you've lost your mind. She's a senior, and she understands what it means to win at a high level. With the week off, what, what are y'all's approach gonna be heading into February in Florida? Um, I'm gonna rest. I ain't slept a lot. Our kids ain't either. Um, but um, Jessica is too, I think. Um, this week off comes at the right time, and we needed this win before this week off. We're going to give the girls off the next couple of days. Um, they need to get their legs back under them. I'm going to go recruiting the next couple of days and then um, come back in here on Wednesday, um, and um, I'm going to go up speak at the quarterback club um, and celebrate a great day for our football program. And um, I can't wait to see the great signing class they're going to sign. And our, we'll practice at some point Wednesday. We'll practice at some point on Thursday, give them Friday off, and then we'll start honing in on Florida on um, Friday or Saturday and Sunday. Um, but in terms of Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to start honing in ourselves and try to fix some things that we need to be fixed. When, you, when you're in the middle of a grind of a season, 
you, it's hard to fix things when you only got two days to prepare for a team. We're going to use a couple of days this week to start get fixing a couple of flaws that we got, and we'll get those fixed. And I'm excited about us taking the floor on, against Florida on Monday. February as a whole, it kind of favors you as you've been talking all year. The schedule flips. I mean, getting this win today does that kind of help y'all just get a little more confident? I, I need to figure out if our um, charter service that flies us is Delta because it feels like I could get a lot more points if it was. And if it's not, we got to get our director of ops to get a Delta um, charter service so I can keep racking up points. Because every time we play a home game, we're hitting the road. And um, that wears on you. When you start getting back in at um, 11 or 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning, and then you got to get up the next morning, go to class, and then you got to practice, and then you got to play. And then you play, and then you got to do the same thing over and over. And, I mean, it just wears on your legs. It wears on your stamina. It wears on your thought process. And so it's good that – when we get in February, after this Florida game, we get three straight home games. Um, that's going to be huge for us. We need that. We need that. And in this league, anybody can beat anybody on any, any given night. If you look at the scores, it don't matter if um, if this team beats you by by like 25. It don't. That has no effect on what's going to happen in the next game. We beat Tennessee. Kentucky gets beat by Tennessee, and then Kentucky beats us. And so it's just it doesn't matter in this league. And the women's basketball in this league, it, it does it goes unnoticed a lot. It's really good. I mean, we're talking eight, nine teams going to get an NCAA tournament out of this league. We're going, I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot different than what you're talking about in men's ball. And so every night you've got to play. I was looking at the standings before I came out um, today. Um, we're three and six now. There's a bunch of teams in that three and four win area. We've got to turn this thing, and we can turn it. We get three or four in a row here and win some games. Next thing you know, you're looking up. You're like, man, we're, we're in the heat of this thing. And so, um, you know, that's, that's, that's big. But um, – I want to compliment also um, our men's team last night. Um, I know they didn't get to win, but I, that was one of the best basketball games I've watched in a long time. And Andy Kennedy had his team ready to play against a top five team in the country, and they played extremely hard. And um, I think that gave our kids a little um, extra motivation that, hey, look, our men have, have struggled a little bit too like we have. And you got to go up and you got to play every night because you never know what's going to happen. And, and our men played their butt off last night, and it hurt me to my – to my core when I, they didn't win that game because they played so hard. And I know they're going to turn the corner, too. Our men's schedule is about to flip on them, and they're going to turn the corner. It's a big game in here on Tuesday night when they play Mississippi State. And we need a bunch of Rebels in here. Um, we went down and played at State in women's basketball, and it was packed. We need Rebel Nation to pack this thing for our men in here on Tuesday night. We need a big crowd to help our men pull through in a big game for them against State. Mm -hmm. today. You got a couple of men in your press conference. I see that. Just right. like any encouraging words you want to say to like young basketball players who are trying to, you know, get to this level? I think the biggest thing um, for young players um, that, 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 that gets missed opportunities in terms of everybody wants instant success. Everybody wants to be the best player on the team the first day that you go out for the team. But to get to that point, you've got to work extremely hard to get there. And for our players here, um, we got a couple of our players on our team that were the second and third option at times on their high school teams. Medina Muhammad was the third option on her high school team. And she's here, and if you look at the other options that had played with her, those kids that played with her that were first and second options ahead of her, they're not having near the success at the college level that she is. And why is that? Because she works extremely hard every single day, and she don't judge on I had a bad game or my coach ain't going to play me or uh, it don't matter how hard I work, I'm never going to get my chance. No, you work hard to get your chance, and you do that every single day. And I preach that to our girls. Nothing in this life is ever going to be given to you, and you got to want it, want everything that you take. And um, a quote I shared with them today um, was from LeBron James um, when they were down 3-1 to one in the NBA Finals, and they said, do you think that, that your team can win the finals? And they're playing the best team ever in the Golden State Warriors. And LeBron's quote was, if you believe it, you can do it. And the Cav Cleveland Cavaliers believed that they could do it. And I talked to our team about that. If you believe that you can make the NCAA tournament, then you will do it. If you have any doubt in that, if you have any doubt that you can win six of the next eight games, you're not going to do it. And so we've, that's kind of our word today was believing and doing it. And um, that's the one thing I'll tell young players is don't judge on instant success. Judge on the long-term success and just keep working every single day and you'll get what you want. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate y'all being here. And anytime you want to come, come back. Thanks, Eddie Grace. You're getting heavy.